In this video, we're going to look at practical use cases for configuration attributes in Salesforce CPQ. So the typical use case uh, for this type of functionality being used is, is where a, a client wants to, to configure different values for different product lines. So whereas you've got, you know, like quote line draw, which applies to, to every product, you know, configura configuration attributes is really more about getting down to a granular level and having different aspects of the configuration of each product line within a quote. So uh, can you display different fields for, for different products on the on the quote line editor itself? Well, no, you can't. So you know, normally how you would get to that would be through going to the little wrench which launches the place where you you configure the product further. So you can't actually do it in the in the quote line editor. The different examples we're going to look at are uh, for standalone products, um, for products in a bundle, uh, at a feature level, and then in the next video we're going to look at global attributes. So for now, um, we've created a, a basic bundle called the Cooler Unit Bundle, uh, and this bundle has uh, six options, as we can see down here, and it's broken down by two features, units and casings. Uh, I'm going to assume if you've got this far, you, you already know the basics of bundle construction. Um, so maybe just knock up this one or something similar. Um, and then for each attribute, configurable attribute, we need to create a field. So, you know, I've got these five different variables for, for the product. So I create five different fields. I create them in the quote line and the product option. And even if it's a standalone product, you, you have to create it in the product option, otherwise it's not going to appear. Um, if you want to default values, you can do that by creating those those fields again in the in the product object, and then giving them specific values for specific products, which then default those values onto the the quote line editor. Um, the last step on the con config attribute object is a pick list field called target field, um, and you're just going to add the API names of those five fields you just created as pick list options. Okay. So when we're adding products, so using the calling, uh, the caller unit example, well, they're, they're standalone products as well as bundle products. So let's just add them in as standalone. So because their they're attributes are required, first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to be asked for these. Okay, caller unit two, you can see they've got different aspects of, of configuration so call of unit one and two have got different fields to configure when i um populate any of these field values you'll notice the screen's loading and if you have automation that happens as a result of these attributes being updated well you can set for instance price rules to to update the pricing based on what you put in the size and that can happen at this point while it's in the configurator Right, so once we save that product, you'll notice here we've got the two different lines. Um, and, they, and this is useful, say you've got um, industrial type or energy clients where they've got a small number of products, but they're, they're, they're high value products and they're highly configurable products. So yeah, I, I, I would normally try and keep those out of a bundle because then you can reconfigure each line individually and see the price updating as a result of that. Uh, so just click on the little wrench and configure it maybe some price rules go in the background and then I come back to the quote and I've got the the total here um, and then move on to the next one and then you can kind of see how each individual step you're making is is interfering with the price so how did we actually achieve that well I created five configuration attributes one for each uh, one for each of the fields that, that I created. Okay, and if we have a look at what's in the configuration attribute itself, well, you know, you can just pause this video and, and copy these values and then tweak them, you know, for, for, for how, how you need your use case to work. Um, but this is a good starting point. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at 
is how to apply them to a bundle. Okay, so let's find that um, cooler unit bundle. There we go. Okay, so, so now they're, they're no longer standalone products, they're part of a bundle. If I select um, these two, you've got the attributes with them. You notice that one of these has got the red and one hasn't. That's because in this one, on the product object, I've set the configuration type to required, but I haven't done it in this one. Um, and then we configure them individually, but within the bundle. Okay, so I have to, particularly if they're all mandatory, I have to do them all before I can save it. Okay, and to achieve this, it's the same, right? So I'm going to, you know, I don't need to create anything new because these configuration attributes that I've just created work regardless of whether it's inside or, or outside the bundle. Okay, the next thing to look at is the feature level configuration attribute. So you'll notice on the casings feature here, we've suddenly got a, a pick list up here. Okay, and what I can actually do is if I select two of these, I can apply this to both of those at the same time. Okay, let's save that. This is the bundling how it how it looks when it when it's in a bundle you see you only get the wrench for the the top level like the parent but the bundle parent line so you only get one place to come in and reconfigure so if you've got something that's really quite heavy on um, configuration and price orders and all that kind of stuff then you probably want to think about well how can I just have them standalone products when I say this come into related and look at my casing product that I've just added and we can see there the size is, is there it's um, it's applied that feature level configure configuration attribute to, to both the components now how to achieve that so create a configuration attribute that's a little bit different from the other ones so the, the things that I've changed so the, the product are um, is applied to the bundle level the parent the bundle parent okay I've also added in a feature and I've ticked this box saying apply to product options which allows me to apply what I'm selecting in the pick list to to all of those um, options within the feature okay so that uh, is really uh, it for this part of the video in the next video we'll look at global attributes um, if you've got any comments or questions feel free to um, get in touch with us in the comments or follow us on LinkedIn thanks